seat preparing here to be a part of the opening act of another major European club season. An epic tale lies ahead, a footballing drama to unwind over the course of the next ten months. One where the central cast, both team and individual, will get to write their own story should they survive long enough. This episode one. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. So it's back, bigger and better than ever before. I do hope everybody is ready for another ride on the emotional roller coaster. Bring it on, Peter. I'm looking forward to a competition that always delivers entertainment, whether through its football or indeed its supporting cast of, of emotions. Neither of these teams will want a, a trip back to the drawing board after this, so I think we can expect something quite lively. There's the whistle, and here we go. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Jorginho. The kind of player that can pass a team to death. At first, a lot of his passes seem a little safe and conservative, but they all serve a, a bigger purpose, slowly shifting the opposition from side to side. Once there is that little bit of space to work in, then the killer instinct usually kicks in and he's able to deliver that decisive pass. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. Has he found his man? Conte. And that is as far as they're going to go. Just brushed off the ball there. Now it's Lukaku. Pulisic. And here's Lukaku. Lukaku! Just a whisker away. Still goalless. Rakitsky tries to get it forward quickly. Chirkov. And it's played forward. Shoots! Goal! Zenit St. Petersburg! And Zenit St. Petersburg take the lead. Just so calm under pressure. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Zed at St. Petersburg, break the deadlock. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. And it's Lukaku. Pulisic! Oh, that is asking for trouble. Lukaku plays it back with Pulisic!
perfect place, but the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. It was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Lukaku. A buccaneering run from the defender. Cut out in the nick of time. Oh, he's been flattened there. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Gets it upfield. Out to the right. The referee's awarded a free kick. And it's been taken short. Well, that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. And it's Marcos Alonso. Oh, it's Lukaku! It's Lukaku! He brings the first half to a close. What it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. Any strong opinions on the first half? It's been a really good watch, but I think the managers would be looking for that extra bit of organisation and focus now, just to try and get a little control on this game. Chelsea head into the dressing room after a half in which we've seen two goals, one each, and the game right on edge. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Gets wrestled off the ball. Brings it forward. Conte. Conte brings the ball forward. That's a good ball to find him. Going for goal! Rakitsky plays it forward. Tries to locate someone up front. And here's Lukaku. Well, he's certainly caught him there, it's a free kick.
Juba. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Jorginho. Somewhat looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, and having played his part in the goal, a tightening up was inevitable. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Juba. Marcos Alonso goes looking. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Keeper's got good distance on that. Jorginho. Pulisic. And they've been caught out here. Chelsea showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Needs a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Hoists it forward. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. The referee has seen it up. Chelsea claim one point on day one. It's a fair start. Your reflections then, Jim. It could have been both better or worse, so a draw will be a happy.